Welcome back to Cosmic Kickback, the galaxy's favorite talk show. I am your host, Josh, and with me as always is my co-host, Nick. What's up, everybody? We got a special guest on again that you might recognize from a couple episodes back. Got our boy Jeremy in the house. Take the glasses off. <laughs> Look like a convict. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> for those of you listening, Jeremy was wearing some shades and he just took them off as, as he was introduced. You the cool kid? <laughs> These are your glasses, Nick. Oh, well, thank you. All right, well, <laughs> thanks for the gift. We usually don't get gifts. Thank you for the sunglasses, Jeremy. And uh, we have a slight, kind of a movie topic, but I'm surprised we haven't thought to talk about it before. Mm-hmm. Since we talk about and review movies every so often, uh, we've never really spoken about the true theater experience. Yes. When you go to the cinema, we, don't <laughs> we, we just talk about the movie. But when you go there, it's a whole experience in itself. And... With uh, I mean, actually, I was gonna say with COVID coming down or leaving, but it's kind of not right now. It's yeah. actually kind of the worst it's ever been, which is insane. COVID only yeah. come up. Yeah, it's coming back. Um, but since theaters, they just like fuck it at this point, I guess. Since the theaters are open again and we are watching movies again, we thought, why not discuss the true theater experience, the best things that come with it, and everyone always thinks of the snacks. Yes. Those overpriced ass snacks. Yeah, the very. Let, let's say from the jump, movie theaters do be upcharging for snacks. No. Upcharging up the ass, up the fucking yeah. snacks and the drinks. You better fucking believe it. <sighs> You're paying at least fifteen dollars for for snacks and a drink if you go see a movie. At least fifteen dollars. Yeah. I mean, it's a price that you know. That's not even counting the ticket. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's what I'm true. Just for snacks, yeah. fifteen dollars. That's like bare minimum too. Like if you wanted to get like. That's no, that's no popcorn. That's like a drink and candy. Yeah, exactly. If yeah. you wanted popcorn, drink, and the candy, that's like at least twenty dollars. That's Dude, thirty dollars. <laughs> it could be pushed. If I'm not gonna lie, it could be pushing thirty. I'm gonna be honest. With I you. feel like it's gone up, bro. I, think I feel like I too. went to the theater and it used to be like twelve, well, and now it's like sixteen. Well, because they've been closed for so long since COVID. Or for COVID. Yeah, they, ch- they yeah. probably raised their prices by a couple bucks, and no one noticed. Yeah, I, I thought we would have noticed. I noticed. So I, was like, I, yeah, noticed. I noticed. I, I'm real mad about it too. <laughs> oh All right, well, so let's talk about the theater experience. You got your ticket. You're going to see whatever movie you want to see, right? Yeah. You go up to the concession stand. What's like the classic combo you guys are going to pick? What's the go-to pick? Yeah. Let's say you get popcorn and a drink. Pick your size. And then what candy are you going for? Are you going to get a candy? Well, I already got my candy at the fucking Dollar General. <laughs> oh, if I'm being completely honest. Well, that's a smart move. I already got my candy. Well, what, what you packing, bro? Oh, Sour Patch what Kids. You Sour packing? Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. You already know. Kids. You already know. You know what? Yeah, I was going to say a candy that I like getting a lot for the theater is the, the Sour Patch, but the watermelon slices. Those are really oh, good. Yeah, those, those are those super good. Those are a good pick. Those are a good snack. Pick. I tried to get snack. those whenever we went to go see Venom, but like they were like, oh, we're not taking cash. I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, that was fucking stupid. That was dumb as oh, hell. That's so dumb. You can't even buy it in there with cash. No, no. they were they weren't taking cash. I was like, that's dumb. I only pay in cash. So yeah, <laughs> that's so, really inconvenient. It was. It's pretty stupid, but I mean, what what you gonna do? True. Yeah. Because I mean, we stuck the, the, the snacks in anyway. Yeah, but I want I wanted my watermelon. For like, I feel you, I feel you, bro. Um, Nick, <laughs> what's your go to if you're not sneaking in? Like you're at the theater, you're just you said fuck it. I feel like losing fifty dollars today. <laughs> What are you getting in that purchase? Besides <sighs> fucked. <laughs> well, normally I'll go see movies with like my friends or my girlfriend. So I'll get like a large popcorn because I'll okay, share with somebody. So that's already like eight bucks. <laughs> yeah, probably more. Uh, I'm going to get it the combo. So I'm going to get like a large. Okay. And I like to get the slushy drinks. I don't like to get regular sodas or okay, anything. So you're paying extra for the slushy. You, I'll get like a slushy. You hate money. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, do they have the, sl- the slushies behind the thing that they have to pour it for you? Or do you pour it yourself now? They pour it for you, I think, right? Or I don't they- like when they pour it for you, man. It's like, because I got to go up there and ask. It depends. There, like, there bro, are some fill theaters. it to the top. It depends on which uh, place you go to, I think. I yeah. think the nice places like the Palladium, you could fill it up yourself. Yeah. But like Better. the Regal Theater and yeah, like, stuff like, like that. See it. Yeah. That's kind of stupid. I don't know. Change that, bro. Yeah, but yeah. Nick, so Nick, you're getting a Slurpee, a large popcorn. Yeah. You're already up charged of probably fifteen. What's next? Honestly, like, what are you doing? Like, no, like, no one's. We're not here to roast you about the price. We know it's no. Fun. The price is the, the. It's no problem, bro. I'm walking oh, yeah? in here like the pockets is fat. Okay. Okay. Well, what the fuck you get? So. Now I'm going to get a pretzel. Actually, I don't oh, always get a shit. pretzel. He's getting a pretzel. But I like getting pretzels at only places that are, they're actually good. You know, there's some places that have like shitty like 
nachos and pretzels. You know, I'm not so gonna it lie. It depends to you. on the place. Sometimes you just unlocked a memory for me. I used to get pretzels at Dude, the theater. They're pretzels, good, bro. They're good, but they're like covered in what? a layer of grease. <laughs> and like they're. That's good. what I'm saying is they have to be good because like yeah, some of them some are, are like some of them are very big and fluffy <clears> and they have like a lot of salt on it and it's good. Yeah. But yeah, and then sometimes they offer like sauces, like dipping sauces and shit, like. That's a little extra. <laughs> yeah. It's a little extra. <laughs> but no, no yeah, Nick, I crazy. completely forgot about that. Pretzels, Pretzels are good. theater are a thing. I was just thinking, like, there's no fucking way. It, but it I is had weird those. to think, like, a pretzel sold at, like, a fucking movie theater. But that mean, sounds like a football, like, they kinda, yeah, a football game, baseball game type of food. I, but, like, I mean, they are there. I, I might get one next time. Who knows? Yeah. I forgot about them. You but, have to pay a lot of motherfucking money. Oh, yeah. Money I, for I mean, now that Nick threw the pretzel in, we've gone from 15 to minimum 23. Gosh, no, if, 15, if, if 21, get, bro. The pretzels are like if, six if or you six get 50. Dip, bro, 22. Oh my gosh, and a half. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't In this scenario, I'm hour. not going to the theater by myself because that's just sad, bro. <laughs> wait, Nick, wait, you go wait. to the theater by yourself and you drop like $50. <laughs> I'd <laughs> well, be like, God, okay, hey, don't but, judge. If I was don't. checking someone out, I'd be like, Bro, you good? You good? That, okay, true, 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 true. So you got the no. big ass Slurpee, you got the large popcorn, and now you got the pretzel. What else are you getting? I'm probably gonna cap it at that. Oh and really? I'll probably sub the pretzel for like a candy, and maybe the. <laughs> so, well, I'm saying like like on on and off days, bro. Like I'll switch, wait, so, so I'll the, get the pretzel or a candy. The last like five minutes of argument we've had talking about the fucking pretzel. Now you're just like I'm just gonna sub it <laughs> after all that bullshit. Well, that's my main order, bro. Is the drink, the popcorn, the pretzels. And if I'm not feeling the pretzel, no I'll candy. Just get, I'll just get a candy. What candy? Uh, the the sour patch ones, or actually they have the airheads. Sometimes like, they don't have them. They have the airheads like sour like strip bites. You know what oh, I'm talking yeah. about? Like the rainbow ones. Yeah, and there's like those are pretty good. It's like white filling or some weird shit. Yeah, it's got like some like. <laughs> it looks weird. Some type of filling. <laughs> Dude, Nick's like yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that's pretty much my order. All right, Jeremy. The pretzel is a go to. The pretzels to go to. Look, listen, the pockets ain't fat. All right, <laughs> I'm walking in. I'm getting a drink and the candy I got in my pocket. Okay, so the drink, what you get, and what size? Large. Okay, so you're paying like five, six dollars. Maybe more. Oh. Maybe more. I don't know. Dude. I don't even know. Seven fifty. Like it's five dollars, it, but the tax be two fifty. I know they tax you for buying it. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the, so there's like the a bro- there's a service fee for the them, broke like, dude charge. It, it the broke dude broke charge. charge. Yeah. Broke boy charge. Yeah. I'm just getting a drink, large drink, and then I got the candy in my pocket. Okay, well, you're paying it. below $10. Yeah, keep it smart because I paid like fucking 15 for the ticket. Oh, yeah. And what candy are you bringing in? Uh, Sour Patch Kids, like the, the, the regular ones. The watermelons or the regular ones? The... <laughs> All right, the watermelon <laughs> ones. So, um... <laughs> Bro. But, I mean, that's on you. Answer the question, my boy. Kids. So... You're, I mean, you're the smartest one. That's what you should do, honestly. I've always thought going to the theater and paying is really stupid. I think what I've always done as far back as I can remember, I've even taken in drinks. Because the drinks there, they fuck you over. Like, I obviously... It's mostly ice. Yeah, is that that. And then what you could do is I have a special jacket and I have a hole cut on the interior of it. And you can, you can like put stuff, fill up the jacket and this jacket doesn't look like anything. So I got a jacket where I can shove like a liter of water. I've done it before and I've gone and I don't got to pay like $8 for a water. And, and then I got my drink. Cause I, I might get popcorn. That's like the only thing I'll ever buy. Yeah. That's like a. You got to have that to snack, especially if it's like a long ass movie. Oh, yeah. Like this is some movies I can go in and like maybe I've seen it once. Like I'll just go in there and just watch it. Exactly. I don't really need snacks. Jesus. I mean, Nick, what's the extent to what we will, what you'll sneak in though? Like, is there any limit? I don't know. I think honestly, it's just if I'm willing to like go through the trouble of sneaking it in to have it during the movie. I'll sneak and in. And it's also like, how big is it? Because like how if you're sneaking in it? like a thing of candy, but it's like a box, like how are you going to put that? Like, how are you going to, it's just, how are you going to hide it, you know? So what's like something crazy you think you could like, what is the extent? I mean, I feel like you could, bro, Cody and I, one time we snuck in 
like a, a fast food burger, like wrapped, Dude, like still wrapped. Bro, and doesn't that stuff like the aroma around it? Like they couldn't smell. Bro, it. they ain't sniffing you, bro. <laughs> yeah, what they gonna do? They got guard dogs. If, bro? I, if I smell like a burger, what are they gonna do? Gonna well, take... if you think back, like before COVID, bro, like <laughs> they used to have a dude that actually checked you in at the theater, and yeah, then like a police bro, officer. Just, wait, why do they not have that anymore? If dude, you think there should be that. Now. I know, bro. <laughs> literally, I went to go see No Way Home again, uh, like a couple days ago. And, like, I went with my girlfriend and, like, some of her family. And we stopped by this, like, place that did, like, to go, like, margaritas. And we literally just snuck them in there, like, no problem, bro. Just walked in with there was no one even there to check our tickets. We just walked in with our drinks and just, like, sat down and watched Spider-Man and just had, like, drinks. <laughs> you, could, you could have just shown up. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was like, dude, we didn't need to buy these tickets. <laughs> I was like, literally no one was, like, like tending to the theater, bro. <laughs> tending to the theater. Yeah, they, it's gotten like so lazy. They don't they give really a have. fuck anymore. I know. It's probably just because the workers there. They're just like. <sighs> the last time I saw someone give a fuck was when I saw Joker. Back... <laughs> the last time I saw. Them. No, that was yeah. like 2019. Yeah, that so was that... late 2019. Those were that was a good year for movies. It was. Man. R- it was, and it was right before COVID hit because it hit early 2020. So, it was like you know the, the the calm before the storm. So they were still caring at the theaters, and I remember. There was a big stupid rumor that for some reason somebody was gonna like shoot up a Joker showing. Wow. I don't I remember that. Oh, I, you it, know what? Yeah. But what was dumb is it wasn't even like some. No one ever made the threat. No one said it. It was just the news media randomly being like, like, yo, this movie looks like it's about a dude killing. Like, someone's gonna go and dress as the Joker and do this shit. And people are like, whoa, what the fuck? Why is the news saying this shit? Like they're advertising it, and if, by doing that. Someone crazy out there is going to see it and then do it, you know? I, I agree. But uh, do you remember that happening? I do remember that happening. It was a huge scare. Yeah. And, like, no one, like, dude, I bet that shit hurt their sales for sure. Probably. But I remember I went still because I wanted to see the movie. You're like, and, fuck yeah. it. You just wore the Kevlar. You're like, fuck it, bro. <laughs> well, I, but, like, because I didn't believe it. And I was like, I mean, even, like, the likelihood of that. You stayed strapped, too? <laughs> yeah i stayed strapped too i got you but i they they literally were checking like i've never seen them like it was like airport security like they were like That's wanted them. they had a flashlight and they were like looking through my girlfriend's purse oh yeah and like that... stuff like that like making sure like whatever like and i well, what's funny though is we use the purse to sneak in candy like to sneak in the shit Aww. so back in the day when it was like that was the, what they're looking for the candy they would have been like sorry you can't bring this in but since they were looking for weapons because of the night, how they were like, oh, someone's going to shoot it up. Yeah. The dude saw the candy and he kind of was like, like he hesitated for a second. He's like, oh, I know. Like, that's what I'm usually looking for. But he's like, I mean, I'm looking for a gun. So he's just like, he's like, nah, y'all good. And like, he, he just let it slide. Cause he was like, <laughs> well, I mean, y'all didn't, you didn't have a gun to be fair. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better y'all walking in with candy. Exactly. Than like, yeah, than and I think that's why he was like, man, who gives a shit, man? Yeah. Yeah. Like he's just really gonna turn you back for a for like candy when he's looking for like yeah weapons. And he's looking for weaponry yeah yeah so like a knife or a gun or some shit <laughs> so yeah we uh, we got candy and they they was aware and I feel like at this point it seems like they don't even care yeah and it's kind of if you think about it like people working at theaters now are are like pretty much people our age or like a little bit older even younger. like minimum wage kind yeah, of yeah like they're working for yeah, fucking nothing exactly so they're like. I'm not getting paid that to go up to someone and tell them like, Hey, you can't bring that in here. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... like, I'd probably do the same thing. Exactly. So if, even <clears throat> if they tell you to like stop somebody, are like, you really going to go out of your way? No, no, yeah. none of them are. That's like the no chase policy. It's like, bro, like I don't even care that much. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <sighs> oh, Jesus, man. I can't, you know, that's crazy, man. Like that part of like theaters is probably going to go away and probably for the better. Like now it'd be so easy just to sneak in like candy, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, but also like it's kind of dangerous because like if no one's gonna check a theater, like what if someone does just go in with the gun? I mean, it's like, true. If you, th- I don't think, know. Th- no, that's right because like, at least here we live in Texas. Yeah, we get, we don't really need to worry about that because the minute like someone like maybe one person will get shot before they get shot back. Like yeah, pulls out a gun and shoots them back. Right? <laughs> like, like for every one person with the gun, there's like six more people in the room. Yeah, like, with the gun and exactly, like they're yeah. licensed and like. No, we like one's a police officer. You like, don't need a carry license. That, now anymore. with the carry license is gone, you can yeah. just have. Oh yeah, yeah, you can just. Oh, yeah, we've heard carry. some of our friends have just been getting guns, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, but like think about it. Because of that, and plus there was a new law about you can literally just have open carry, which people can just see it on you. Yeah, like you can do that now. Yeah, you don't need a license for it either. Yeah, you just insane. you wow. just need a gun license though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that, yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> oh, it's just so stupid. Like why? I like it. 
No, 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 no. I don't care about, like, people having it. But it's just so stupid how, like, everybody's, like, loaded here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm kind of like, holy shit. I mean, but it's good for, like, because, yeah, uh, like, I generally, like, like most people in Texas are, like, nice and, like, safe. As long as you're not fucking with people, like, yeah. you're not going to get shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why, and that's why the minimum wage workers aren't stopping people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True, because it's, all, like, I'm gonna... it's about gun laws. <laughs> <laughs> no, Why'd I'm just you stop kidding. me here, young blood? It's like, <laughs> hey, man, you can't bring that candy in here. What you say? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Just let me take my candy. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, no one's man. taking the candy away, man. So, what else about the theater experience? Do you want to talk about after you're past the uh, the concession stand? Do we have any more stories about sneaking stuff in? Oh, Nick, you already know. Oh, there is a story actually. <laughs> well, I was there. Yeah, Nick. Nick is the one that snuck. I think let's, Nick's probably snuck the most in. Let's paint the picture, bro. So, this is sophomore <laughs> year of high school. Yeah. I met our friend Omar, who has not been on the podcast. Shout out, Omar. Yeah, he'll, he, he'll, he'll make an appearance. Eventually. Yeah, you'll eventually meet him, but. He introduced me to Josh and like Squad and all those people. Like oh, yeah, I just, it was through him. I just sat like one down, like one day. I, I just sat down with them at lunch, mm-hmm. and uh, we just we just hung out ever since. And we go to they they introduced me to, like the Marvel universe, so they just took me to the movies whenever they would come out, and yeah. it was like a thing. And we did that for a while, but <laughs> they fuck with me, bro. <laughs> well, like Nick, if Nick pulled up, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I met Nick. <laughs> I got the impression that this dude was just like an asshole because God. well it's just, Nick just has like a very like stoic face like he's just like very like like just flat NPC vibes e- yeah and emotionless <laughs> and he has a very monotone like lower voice as well so whenever <laughs> he was saying anything it just sounded like he was judging you <laughs> like <laughs> you'd be just talking about like, hey like so Nick what you be doing like what you up to and he's just like you know bro like I did and it's just like okay like <laughs> does this dude even want to be here like it's like that key and peel skit like over the text where it's just like man fuck this guy like that's what it was like, like. first rounds on me <laughs> this motherfucker <Yeah. laughs> so it was like that but then nick did get you know nick re- i realized that nick is normal and like he literally was just He's normal <laughs> he is and then i was like I'm oh cool like, bro nick just has like a monotone voice that's just how he is um hey bro but no to add nick into like the group we were kind of fucking with him a bit <laughs> so we were acting like squad had an initiation process like to get in which he's like what do you mean Bro, acting y'all had like- <laughs> y'all had document <laughs> what oh yeah the document Y'all had like a document about kicking someone out of like the group <laughs> yeah Jaden had i think he had a rotc project where he had to write like a dishonorable discharge thing like word it to where it sounds like Holy. official and he did a wrote a dishonorable thing, but for like an actual like military, you know, circumstance. But then he just changed out the words to like squad and like stuff like that. And then it was like you need at least three uh, founding fathers of squad signatures <laughs> at the bottom. It's you, Elijah, and him. It was me, Elijah, yeah, and Jaden. I thought that was so unfair because it's like <laughs> so y- y'all are the only people that can kick everyone out of the group. <laughs> I was like that's so stupid. <laughs> it was. It's the funniest p- paper I've ever seen. That Jaden wrote. Dude, we should like and go find that and take a well, photo. Omar of got it, mad because Jaden wrote in the beginning. It says like like blank like for the name. Yeah, insert hereby name. being just dis- yeah, and you fill in the name. And he had wrote in Omar, <laughs> and Omar was mad because he was like, "Hey, bro, I need one more signature." <laughs> oh, it's like man. just sign it, bro. That's a good one, man. Gosh. But Nick, we fucked with him. Not like that. We told him he had to sneak in a lot, all of our candy and all of our stuff to the first movie that we took him to. You know what, <laughs> assholes, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so we took him. It was Doc- good times, though. I think it was Doctor Strange we saw. So it was in 2016. We saw Doctor Strange. Yeah, it was 2016, and we convinced Nick that this was just the thing we all had to do at some point, but no one else had ever done it. Like Nick was the first one to do this. Yeah. So we were thinking, like, hey, like I'm gonna tell this dude like to sneak in anything. So I'm pretty sure Nick had a jacket on, which has, you know, a couple interior pockets and then like the fake one I have as well, like cut into it. And that those are filled up, I think, everybody's drinks. But the main thing is I was like, I really want to fuck with Nick extra. Like it's because I was like, I mean, it's easy to sneak in like a bag of M&Ms like in your pocket or something. But I was like, I'm going to make this man suffer. So (laughs) I got like a pretty much a full box of Cheez-Its. 
and I just took the plastic bag out of the box. And then I gave Nick the bag of cheese it's and I was like, yeah, Nick, you gotta get this in. And it's already been opened. So bro, it's it was not... like bro, it was like twenty or twenty four ounces, bro. It was like a pretty like big bag. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, dude, I don't know where to put it. And then someone made a joke, like, hey bro, stuff your pants. <laughs> Nick stuffed his pants, put the cheese it's right over his crotch, <laughs> zips up his pants, and then we go in, and then like, <laughs> like ten minutes in, he's just like Pulled his pants down, or like he unzipped his pants. He's like, "Bro, y'all want it?" And we were like, "Bro," and we we're like, "No, it's eating that." And he's like, "Man, y'all fucking made me bring this in here for nothing." And then he just like ripped it out of his pants and then just like slapped it on the floor. And he made a mess with all the cheese. I just threw cheeses on the floor, bro. I was fucking over it. <laughs> you ripped it out and then just chucked it on the floor. I might have had like a couple, and then I just threw it, bro. <laughs> you had a couple because I was like, "Bro, I brought it in. I'm gonna eat some." <laughs> you ate I was a like, couple. It's like, "Fuck this." Like, Fuck, bro. No, the movie was good though. It was good. <laughs> the movie, movie yeah. was good. <laughs> Dude, so I had I had to sn- I had to sneak a couple real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I had to eat some. Oh, dude, yeah. Gosh, that's a funny story, man. Good, good high school times, man. See, Nick, <sighs> we should have had you sneak in more. If I'm so, did right. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Am I part of squad now? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're in by now. <laughs> They're like, nah. We just gotta get Jeremy to sneak some stuff in now. <laughs> we got you, bro. He just has a backpack full of shit. <laughs> yeah, hey, yo. I've seen Jaden walk into the theater with a backpack and they don't do anything like a full on school over your shoulder. I've done backpack. that before too, and like, yeah, I don't, don't have do anything, anything in it. Like, it's just my homework. But I'm like, dude, like, I could have had anything. In I could, yeah, I could have had anything. I know. I could have had a bomb in here. Oh my gosh! Like, if I'm being honest, you would, right? Yo, you could. Okay, all right. That's okay. that's different. That's, you said you would. I was like, what? oh, no, I'm not saying you would. no. <laughs> But like it, Gosh. like it's that's kind of some theaters cons- like it's kind of concerning. Yeah, it's true. E- even when some theaters had people, like they would not give a shit. <laughs> that was like pre-pandemic, dude. I don't know. But it's now just... that it's coming back, do you think it's it's ever gonna be the same, or do you think it's changed for, <clears throat> forever now? I hope it's changed forever. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it comes back, but like in a in a better way. Like, what things do you miss? Like, what are what's kind of different about the, the whole like movie theater experience? Yeah, like about movie going to the theater now. What's different than how it was before? Like what? Like think back. What are some things that we just don't have anymore, or that they changed? I don't know. I mean, I know for a while like limited seating was a thing, so like theaters could only have like twenty five people, and it held like sixty. I don't miss that. I remember that. I don't miss yeah. that at all. I mean, if, it depends on the type of movie I'm going to see, but it's fun to see it like in a packed theater with like people that like watching the same movie as you. Yeah, that's as all, opposed to like just going to see like the fifth like screen movie like. There's like some people there, some people aren't. I don't know. I do like premiere nights, and I feel like those are still a thing, even though. Oh, like, No Way Home was insane. Yeah, yeah, we saw the No Way Home premiere. That was awesome. We saw Avengers. Uh, that was pre-pandemic. That was probably like one of the coolest. Yeah, I'm glad it happened before yeah. the pandemic. A- Endgame, dude. Can They're you not- imagine if the years were shifted like just by one, like later? So Endgame's coming out right around the time COVID first hit. Like Dude. instead of because it released in 2019 early. Yeah, May 2019. So imagine if at least May 2020. That would fuck. Like that. That would have sucked because that means we would have saw Infinity yeah. War and had we already had to wait one year and then they're like that's when every single movie studio delayed everything. Yeah. For this foreseeable future. Yeah, that sucked. And yeah, it, yeah, it was awful. And since then, like like that, since then, some movies still haven't came out like Morbius. Yeah. That oh was supposed gosh. to come out, I think. Dude, for... that thing got delayed seven times. Yeah, bro. it's, it's insane. on like its seventh. That was supposed to come out in 2020, I think. Yeah. It's just, oh my God. I feel like at that point, just release the movie, dude. Because, like, <laughs> the people that worked on that, like, project, like, years prior, they're, like, still waiting for a paycheck. And they I have know, to wait right? till the movie gets <laughs> released. Like, what have they been paid. doing, bro? Yeah, it's, it's, uh. I don't miss that. I don't miss that, bro. But, no, yeah. The, imagine if Endgame was shifted. Yeah, that would suck. Because everyone waited a year. That would probably change how the MCU, like, ended, bro. Because, like, it was Endgame, and then after, I think, uh, Far From Home came out. Like, it was a Spider-Man yeah, movie. Yeah, dude, it would have delayed so much. That's crazy yeah. to think. Just one year of difference. Yeah, it's crazy. God. <sighs> you want to talk right. about Jeremy? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking about him. Say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, Yo. <right>. Yo. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Shut up. Um, so, we're past the front of the concessions. Let's say that we went into the movie theater. I'm sitting down. Yeah. What are some things that like annoy you about moviegoers that are that are like around? Or what what is like some people that just don't understand movie etiquette? Do you have any stories? Has there any been a situation? When they be breathing. 
<laughs> they be what? breathing when they're breathing, when like, they like they're sitting behind you or next to you, and they're just like, no, they're just <sighs> when they're in when they're in the theater and they be breathing. <laughs> Stop, bro. <laughs> they're sitting next to you. <laughs> they're like, not even standing. They're just like. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, I actually have a story. I um, oh, okay. no. that brought a memory back. Well, yeah, because I, oh, dude, no, no, <laughs> there wasn't a guy breathing. He's like looking that. at you, but there was a guy on my right, oh. and okay, so this guy was. When I say big, I don't mean like he was uh, uh heavy. I mean he was like a big guy, like tall, like big, you know. You're yeah, to suck? No, bro. <laughs> so, so he's taken up a lot of the seat. He's a burly guy. Okay. And I'm watching the movie, and I don't know. I thought he was at one point. He starts kind of like doing this, like he's wiping tears around his eyes, and I was like, "Oh, is he crying?" But then I realized he wasn't crying, and he was like, he was like moving his hands in front of his face fast, like he was swatting away bees or something or flies. Oh, and I was like, "Is there a fly in here?" And I'm kind of like trying not to directly turn and look at him, but I'm like, the movie's on. I'm kind of looking at my peripherals, and this guy starts like smacking his face over and over like he's going monkey and he's going monkey. <laughs> he's going crazy and then, like he's not making any sound and then his legs and he just i thought he was having a stroke or a seizure which like i kind of started freaking out and i feel bad about it yeah good thing he didn't but like it looked like at one point his legs started moving he was like spazzing he was spazzing out and at this point i got kind of freaked out because i'm either like holy shit this guy needs medical help or I'm like, this guy's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's one or the other. Yeah. and I wasn't fine with either of the outcomes. <laughs> exactly. And he ended up being a fucking weirdo. Because I'm like looking over. And then like he realized that like I was like looking at him and like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he just froze. And he was just like, watch the movie normal. And I was like, this guy's fucking insane. I want to switch seats. That's weird, dude. What if he? What if he? Like his hand just went over. He was like, Nah, dog, nah. If he, yeah, he's like, reaching over, I'm, I'm, I'm actually hitting. Like, sir, you hit, sir, him? sir. <laughs> you hit. No, I'm hitting his face. Oh, for sure. I was like, <laughs> Gosh, that's weird, man. Yo, yo. Do, do you have any funny stories, Jeremy, <laughs> about being in the theater, man? Just any, anything that annoyed you or anything. One you... time I went in the theater. This is over, like, kind of, um. It, it was like a south side movie theater and there was okay. i shit you not i sat in the back because i was with like i was with my cousin and some friends and there was this dude in like the very back of the theater fucking lighting a bowl oh he was sm- smoking weed in the fucking theater and i was like i smelled it and like the fucking theater security with their stupid little lights came in oh they were, shit and they fucking grabbed his ass and took him out i was like ah oh, shit Damn! I didn't even get a hit yet. <laughs> Jeez, that's so, crazy. People are that bold to like. Yeah, yeah, it, and it took like use maybe, drugs in public. It like took that. maybe like a minute for for security. I wonder. To come in and grab I think him. they actually have cameras, like really? night vision cameras, like in the corners, like by the screen. Yeah, that's where he was. He was in the corner. Yeah, and I think they, uh, if they see anything weird going on you know like suspect stuff true because like there's security i think that watches and if they see anything out of the ordinary they're going in there and they're going to ask the guy what he's doing or, yeah, well, this dude wasn't like he wasn't even being sneaky about it like yeah, he he, just I, I heard just him did it. i heard him striking the ladder like yeah and he took him like four times and in and night vision that really illuminates the area yeah and then like i heard <laughs> I was like, bro, like, and it was just like, <laughs> like bro. immediately before he even started smoking, I smelled the shit. I was like, bro, just... like on the projector, you just see like smoke. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the like smoke above. trail. It's like my dude. Gosh. What are you doing? Damn, that's Gosh, oh, Jesus. I, that's kind of funny. Nick, have you had a uh, something? I don't know if I have a particular story, man, but like there'll be people where, like I'm around that I sit next to and like they'll get up in the middle of the movie to like go get snacks. And there was one time it was actually pretty recent. I think when I saw No Time to Die. We were, like, in the middle of the movie. It's a, like, really intense movie. And this kid, like, gets up. And he's just, like, running. He literally, instead of going the short way, you know, like, the door's, like, on the left. Like, down the stairs and mm-hmm. to the left or whatever. He, like, goes around. And he's, like, fucking running, bro. Like, you can hear him, like, fucking stomping and shit. And it's, like, super loud. And he, like, goes to get snacks. And then he comes <laughs> back. And, oh, my God. I wanted to trip him, bro. I was, like, dude, like, <laughs> this dude was just being obnoxious. <laughs> and, like, his dad was right there, too. I was, like, bro. Bro, I'll fight you, you too. Gotta, you gotta teach your kids etiquette, bro. You, you really do. Some of these kids don't know. You know, know one you one time I went, and uh, my girlfriend's little brother was there, and he had his AirPods. Is that the one in. Fortnite. 
Huh? Is that the one who likes Fortnite? Yeah. And so we like Fortnite. So he's playing air. He has his AirPods and he's playing music. And I guess he had it to the. You know, we can have it too loud. Where if it's quiet, you can hear it. Yeah, yeah you can hear what and the person's movies, listening to. There's plenty of times where there's like no music or no ambient sound, nothing, and it's supposed to be like silent to draw, like make it feel like slightly uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a pause. Yeah, pause. Yeah. And it, we were a horror movie, so it, they do that a lot in horror movies. Oh yeah, where the audio just cuts out. Jump and, scares. Yeah, for jump scares. And the other amount of time, it's loud, so he's fine. But there was an extended period of quietness where it, where he, there's just no sound. And I, I just hear, like, Eminem rapping. Like, he's just like, <laughs> now nah, this looks like a job me. And I'm just like, bro. So everybody just Yeah, and I, like, I like look over two seats because he's, like, two away from me. And I can hear it <laughs> cl- plain as day. And I was like, I told my girlfriend, I was, like, I was like, tell him to turn that shit off, like something. But this is embarrassing. Like, I know everybody around us could hear that music. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, oh shit, y'all can hear it. And I was like, bro. <laughs> All loud. Wait, he, yeah. he said that? Yeah. And then he had to turn, it was stupid. Man. Someone's like, turn it off. Oh, fuck, turn my off. bad. <laughs> yeah, just... My bad, homie. And then the only other thing I can think of, and I think Nick was there for this. Wait, no, you. Yeah, you were. You probably were there. Yeah. But regardless, it was Jaden. He came in late to a theater, which that's one thing. If you come in late, I I don't mind because like whatever. I don't know what's going on in your life while you're late. But yeah. just get in your seat, man. Like people that are like going back and forth, they're like, oh shit, wrong row, and like yeah. they're doing all. Just this know thing. where you're going before you step exactly. in. Exactly. But Jaden comes in late. He gets to his seat fine, so no trouble there. But then this dude just immediately like puts his feet up and he kicks the fucking seat in front of him, which had an older lady, I think. Oh. And there was just like an older couple. And then like they kind of like looked back and were like talking to them amongst themselves. And then Jane just has his feet up like someone's sitting in the seat next to him where his feet are. And Wait, I was just really? yes. And I remember I was like, I said after me, I was like, bro, Jane, you walked in like kicked an old lady's seat and then just put your feet up by their face. And he's just like, bro, no, I didn't. And it, I like watched it mid theater. It was yeah, like, it was so dumb. I don't even know what movie we were seeing. I think it was Birds of Prey. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. He did not give a fuck. That was actually a good movie too, bro. Yeah, he because he was like, I don't give, I don't care, bro. Yeah, he's like, he's like, why, why did happened? he come? Yeah, exactly. why did he come, bro? Oh. Yeah, why did he come, bro? Jeremy, get your mind out the gutter, bro. <laughs> I didn't hear what you every said sentence we've been saying, bro. You just like. Like, like oh, okay. hey, well, because I didn't hear what you. I was listening to Josh, and then I just hear like you said, "Come!" Like and you fucking put emphasis on it. You're like, "Come!" I was like, <laughs> "No, bro. Yeah, Jaden shouldn't have come, bro. He he didn't like that movie. Just yeah, Jayden, don't show Jayden's up." Jaden's a big hater, man. Like, you could show this man like Casablanca, and he's like mid. <laughs> That's his favorite movie, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that. Yeah, he would call it mid. Mid. Yeah, he probably mid. he probably thinks it's mid, but he's like, I mean, it's the greatest mid ever written. The greatest of mid. <laughs> Oh uh, gosh, is there anything man. else or is that pretty much the theater experience? I don't know. There was this other time. It's like a small story. Okay. I was watching one of the Sherlock Holmes movies. I think it was the first or second one. And when I went to go see this, I saw it with my family, but we bought the tickets kind of late. So all of our seats were scattered. Like everyone sat like in a single seat, like an airplane. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like sitting to the left of the theater. I still had like a pretty good view, but I was next to like these, like these two dudes. They were like pretty large, like fat dudes. <laughs> I'm going to just say it like that. Say it how it and is. uh they were like talking before the movie they were just like they were very chatty and loud <laughs> and throughout the sherlock holmes movies you know these things are like big on reveals and big yeah. on like you know like characters being like oh i was like five steps ahead of you yeah, yeah these yeah. dudes like i guess they're so smart they saw through the whole plot and shit and they were just spoiling <laughs> it like right there in my ear bro like, oh it's fucking this like guy. a character this. would die and he would be like oh no like he had that tool from earlier <laughs> And I would just be like, oh, fuck, bro. Like, they were spoiling it as it was, like, unfolding, <laughs> they were bro. spoiling everything. And I was just getting super pissed off because pissed off I was, like, 12 or 13. I couldn't just been like, can you, like, shut the fuck up? Yeah. I mean, I probably could have. Like, what would they have done? It would have been, but like, hey, bro, shut up. I'm going to sit on you, dog. I'm going like, to eat you, bro. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. Jesus. You must snack. No, but it was just yo, so, yo. It was just so annoying, dude. And, like, I don't I'm know. I'm so glad I haven't had to deal it, with something like that. It just that. sucked because, like, getting your tickets late, you don't know who you're going to sit next to. And it might just be someone that just doesn't give a fuck, like, and just spoils the movie. Just wake up and chose chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Some men just want to watch the world burn. That's true. You've been voted off. From Batman, bro. So, with that, I believe that's pretty much everything. Right? Yeah, I think we talked about a lot of stories. And of uh, we talked about gun laws for a bit. Movie theater shit. I mean, that has to do with theaters, I guess. I mean, you can't, like, be in Texas and not talk about gun laws. You can't laws. have a theater and not we can't have, have a gun. <laughs> You can't have a Texas podcast and not talk about a gun. 
Yeah, I'm you know surprised I mean? Nick hasn't hung up any guns on the set. Dude. You want some? We should get like a 50 cal <laughs> rifle just across our heads, bro. <laughs> That'd be freaking cool. We should put a Nerf pistol. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like a Nerf rifle, stupid. <laughs> the shit Fortnite like that. one, dude. They oh, have they have them at my work, Nick, bro. Nick, dude, we're not gonna go go through this again. It's on. You know what? Let's just end it here. You say, let me get a <laughs> Fortnite one, man. Okay, we gotta Fort- we gotta wrap it up. Nick's gotta go Aww. finish the battle pass. Yeah, you're right. He's gotta go crank some nineties. Jeremy's, Jeremy's internally cringing at Nick. <laughs> so let's wrap it up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Yes. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you've ever had any crazy stupid movie stories or yeah. can't be associated let us know what you'd be sneaking in i want to yeah. know let, let us, us know what sneaking in. let us know what's on your uh your list of shit you're yeah. gonna sneak into a theater yeah, yeah, yeah. Le- leave a comment follow Let's... us on instagram at twitter mm-hmm. uh reddit discord facebook all of those places if you're listening uh leave a review uh thank you for doing that make sure to follow wait if you're anywhere turn on the bell so you know when we post and we'll see you guys on the very next episode Say goodbye, Jeremy. I can't be associated with this man. (laughs) Goodbye, everybody. (laughs)